Hello everybody, this is Molly. How are y'all doing? Well, I've got a couple of projects of the uh, using some of the beautiful items that I got in my MB Treasurista design team. Ooh, I can't believe I'm on a design team uh, kit. And I'm gonna try to go through it slow. You know how I talk fast. Imagine a beautiful picture in that spot. But let me show you a couple of the projects that I made using some of the beautiful items Misty sent me. I'll start with this because it's in the front. This was an old project I'd had in my closet for years and years. It was uh, one of those, uh, I don't remember what brand it was, but it was a frame and it's covered with the uh, paper and you know, you were supposed to alter it. And I've had it in my closet and when I say for years, I mean years. So what I did, I was um, inspired by the pretty little items, some of the things that Misty sent me and then one of the laces that I bought from her. And of course she had carried the uh, ladies diary paper great prices great prices so I pulled that out because those items went with it so perfectly so the first thing I did this is if you can see the shine on there there's the acrylic frame you know this board pulls out of the back you know this pulls out of the back and then you can put the picture there so what I did this was my favorite paper out of the whole ladies diary collection I know it was supposed to be featuring all the beautiful fashion plate women uh, from the turn of the century but this floral just called to me so I cut the paper to where you know some of these flowers kind of overhang will overhang the picture when I put it in there and then these beautiful colors so once I did that it was very easy for me to just choose this was a piece of lace that um, I had gotten from Misty on a purchase that I had made a beautiful beautiful piece of just off white kind of cream colored lace Here's where I use some of her flat back pearls, and she has the prettiest assortment of colors. I'll, she, uh, hopefully you saw my design team uh, video, and just dozens of colors, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful colors. These are uh, some flowers you'll see. I've used an old crochet. These, you'll notice these are very old Prima. If you remember those that came in the bottle. Here's the Recollections flower, Recollections, and some pretty old vintage buttons I had. These are Recollections Leaf. I've sprayed with uh, some Lindy Stamp Gang. You can see the sparkle. But it wouldn't have all come together. Wouldn't have been near as pretty as I think it is. I can't wait to put it up on my shelf. Without that lace and those beautiful pearls. I cut one of the pearls and used it in the center of the flower there. Used uh, Misty's beautiful peach roses there. Crinkled up some of the other flowers from uh, Prima, the little satins to make almost a rosebud look. And then this is one of the flat back pearls uh, in a beautiful, I hope you can see the uh, soft peach color that that is, kind of beautiful, rich, creamy color. So Misty, these were the first items, uh, some of the first items for the design team kit. And ladies and gents, they're just beautiful. So the next project that I made, let me put that one back a little bit, was this box. And what this actually is, I didn't cover the bottom so I could show you. Um, my husband and I enjoy cigars occasionally, and uh, this was a cigar box. We've got a little collection of cigar boxes that I've had for years and years. So what I did was I covered it with some of the ladies' diary paper, just tore some of the black there, used one of the bigger. Now this was out of the 12 by 12 collection. I actually went to uh, Michael's and bought myself a little lock to put on the box, because once I painted it and papered it, it was... Uh, you know, the closure wasn't as tight as it was originally, so I need to put a closure. And then I just tore, you know, some of the paper to put around it. But the cover of it, isn't that just beautiful? This is from the 8x8 collection of Ladies' Diary. Didn't do too much to it. Didn't do any fussy cutting. Just laid the paper, on, you know, glued the paper on the cover. And then this lace you see right here, I hope you can see that it's got a peach satin ribbon running through it. Let me grab it real quick. Hold on just a second. I'm going to show you all the other items that uh, I used in it, but I just wanted to show you this one while I'm on it so you can see it. Can y'all see how beautiful? Now, this was one of the ribbons I bought from Misty. It's got a peach satin ribbon adhered to the back of it, and it's a beautiful ecru colored lace. Don't know if she still has it. I hope that she does, but uh, it was just beautiful with this collection, paper collection. So anyway, that was, and if she doesn't have that one now, she's reopening her shop soon and she's getting in lots and lots of new items. Her taste level is just wonderful. So I'm sure she'll have something pretty um, too. Anyway, again, here's the flat back pearls that I just adhered to the center of it. These two items here are the little wheat spray stems. And then this little, I ju these butterflies just tickle the fire out of me. You notice how the lady's hat has got shades of brown and 
brown feather sticking out. Well, I didn't have that, but I used this little brown organza butterfly and it created the same feel, I think, with the wheat sprays coming up beautiful. Lots of recollection flowers in there, but here's one of her acrylic flowers and it's brown, which I just love. Uh, it's one of her small acrylic flowers at the rhinestone centers and then loaded it down with some of her beautiful peach roses. I will definitely, these came in my design team kit, but I will definitely be buying those. They are just the prettiest color. And then these were the white roses that she sent me. I sprayed them with the wild honeysuckle coral from Lindy's Stamp Gang and they turned out to be the, the pretty little addition of pop of color that I needed with that box. So there's the outside of the box. And then when you open it on the cover, oh, let's see if I can get this close. I cut out, uh, you know, did a little fussy cutting there around that page, popped it up with some, um, ladies, what I use is instead of buying pop dots, I use foam, you know, those foam sheets that are adhesive on the back. I think they're 99 cents a sheet at Michael's, maybe an eight by 11. I just run those through my Xyron on the non-sticky side. So now I have a double-sided piece of foam and I, that way I can just cut them to any size and shape I want and you can get black, you know, any color you want. But here's a piece of the narrow ribbon that Misty sent me with my design team kit. So, it is so soft and so pretty. See how delicate that is? And just soft, it feels good. There's flat back pearls, and then there's more of those gorgeous little roses. Just love them, love them, love them. Again, I cut one of the pearls now this was the cream color flat back, but out of the uh, soft sherbet, uh, you know, peach color, I cut one of the flat back pearls out of the string of pearls to use in that flower center there. And then of course some of my old vintage buttons that I just tucked in. So I love the, the surprise of the inside of the box as well. And then of course I just lined the inside of the box with the ladies diary paper. Did a little bit more of that tearing inside so it would create to the outside. So Misty, I wanna thank you so much for the uh, design team kit. I would not have had these two treasures if it had not been from the inspiration of your pearls and laces and oh, those roses, I just love them. So I hope y'all enjoy. Be sure and stop by MB Treasuristas. And I wanna just show you a few of the products, some of which came in my design team kit, some of which I purchased and I love them all. Hold on just a second. Hey, ladies, here's the colors of the um, acrylic flowers. I use the brown ones in this kit. But look at all those sweet colors. Aren't those darling? I just love them. Okay, so there's the acrylic flowers. Pretty. Oh, sorry about this. I'm going to be ordering myself some more. But there's the last two of the little peach, the small roses. This is the color peach. Can y'all see that they're multicolored? Oh, they're so pretty. This is uh, two of the colors of the flat back pearls that I used. Let's see if I can grab them with my old stained hands here. See, there's the two soft colors that I used. But look at all the colors that she has. And these metallic um, forest green and the metallic red I'll be using for Christmas. She's got purple, for goodness sakes, one of my favorite colors, the hunter green. It's just gore. All the colors are gorgeous. But some colors just, you know, call to me more. I love them. These flat back pearls that Misty started to carry now, she'll have in her shop. Can you see all the colors? Just gorgeous. And I had fun using those. I even like the fact that there's black. Um, so she's got the pearls. You can see where I use those in a couple of spots. And then I want to show you some of the laces that I bought for myself. Okay, get ready. Yum. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's so pretty. So this is one of the laces that I bought myself. Again, I, now I bought these items a couple of weeks ago, so I don't know if Misty still has them. But again, if she doesn't have these, which I hope she does for you, her taste level is at this high quality, so she'll have some beautiful things. These are two of the laces I purchased for myself that uh, I did not use in this project, but I want to show them to you. Let me see if I can get them going. Aren't they just beautiful? And you, can you see how soft they are? They feel great on the hand. Just beautiful. So there's a white and a cream. Uh, so MB Treasuristas, you stop by, uh, see what Misty has to offer. If her shop is not open right now, uh, it's because she's loading it up with the new projects for the fall and holidays. So check back in a week or so. Um, I'll let you know on one of my blog spots as soon as it's open. But I hope you enjoyed. I love my projects. Can't wait to put them up on my shelves in my craft room. They are so me. Uh, 
you know, like I, said, I don't do shabby chic, just the traditional peak, but I love the, uh, I'll call it shabby Victorian <laughs> instead of shabby chic. I love these looks. Thank y'all so much. Hope y'all have fun scrapping. Be back with you soon. Bye.